Hello everyone, now welcome to the first episode of our ESP32 series. Now after watching this full video, you'll come to know how you can interface your own ESP32 board using the Arduino IDE both on your Windows or iOS system. Secondly, you'll come to know the solution of different kind of errors coming up by using the ESP32 board for the first time. Then you're also going to learn which kind of driver is required to use this particular board on your system and in the end, I will also let you know how you can blink LED, which is built in on this board using the Arduino ID. So this is kind of a basic video or a getting started video with the ESP32 board. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com. JLCPCB provides premium quality PCBs at a very reasonable price. Now, GLC PCB has widely cut down its price on 1 to 6 layer PCBs and stencils. Check out description for more info. And hey, don't forget to visit jlcpcb.com to make your projects look neat and more professional. First of all, you need to open a web browser on your system and just type uh, ESP32 boards. Uh, boards into github uh, i'll attach the link of this in the description so no issue so just click on this first link and then go into this instructions for board manager this is really very simple method you just need to copy this particular link and paste it inside the boards manager so this method is similar to what we have used for a node mcu board so it's that simple uh, in my previous video, which was also on getting started with ESP32 board, I have shown one method, but that was a bit complicated method as compared to this. This is the most simplest method. You don't need to do anything except pasting this link into the preferences. So you go to the Arduino into preferences and here you just need to paste this link. Method for both Windows and iOS is same. You just need to paste this link, then you go to tools, then into boards, then into boards manager. Uh, so you need to wait for some time. Make sure your system is connected with the internet. Mine is already connected. So go down and then the last option will show you this ESP32 by Espressive systems. You just need to install this that's it after it get installed you are ready to use your esp32 board on the arduino ide so it was that simple okay i think it is uh, done okay it's already installed onto my system i will just close this so now go to the files uh, sorry tools into the boards and yeah here are all the ESP32 boards available in the market. There are so many kind of ESP32 board made by different companies. Uh, ESP32 chip is made by one company which is Espressive while the development board of this kind of development board are made by different, company, uh, different companies like Adafruit, like Vemos, like uh, uh, DF Robot, etc. So there are many companies making this kind of ESP32 development board. Uh, the one which I have is ESP32 Dev Kit V1, which is also uh, available in the board section. If uh, I'm not wrong, okay, so it is from Do It ESP32 Dev Kit V1. So I have attached the link of this particular board in the description of this video. So go get the similar ESP32 board from one which I am using right now. So we have successfully uh, added all the ESP32 boards on the Arduino system. Now the second thing which you need to do after installing these boards is you need to download one driver. Uh, for If you are using this particular board which I am using then you need to download the CP2102 drivers in your system. In my case I already installed that driver in this laptop uh, but if you want to if you are using it the, for first time you need to download. Uh, this driver which is cp2102 i will attach the link of the driver in the description of this video so so here you will get the li uh, drivers for both your windows and ios systems so here is for windows and the downside we have for macintosh system so you need to download and install this driver if you want to use this uh, board in arduino id if you don't uh, you know install this uh, uh, drivers into the uh, into their system then error uh, okay wait I, okay 
So if you don't install this driver, the error like this will pop up. If I'm not wrong. Yeah. ESP com underscore upload underscore mem underscore field. This kind of error will pop up if you, if you uh, didn't install the driver. So if you see this kind of error on your Arduino ID, then you must be missing with your driver. So go get your drivers installed right now. So after installing the driver, the third step, which a Windows user need to do, iOS user don't need to do. That step is installing Python in your system. In the Macintosh system, there already in, uh, Python is installed while in the Windows system, you need to get the Python 2.7 version installed. So I will attach the link for that also in the description. So we'll just search for Python 2.7. So yeah, here it is. So you need to download this in your system if you want to use the ESP32 board. This is three step. First, you need to install the boards on the Arduino IDE. Secondly, you need to install the drivers on your system. And third step for Windows user is to get Python 2.7 installed in their system. Okay, so all the links are attached in the description of this video. So you don't need to search like I did. Okay, so now you are ready to upload a blink sketch on your Arduino IDE. So we'll, uh, on your ESP32 board, sorry. So we'll first open this Arduino uh, file. We'll go to tools, into the boards, then uh, my board is the 28 ESP3 dev kit V1. So select the board which you are using. In my case, it is this dev kit V1. Okay, so after go to the files, then into the examples, uh, here you will be finding the different different kind of uh, example codes which are written by the community members I will be covering most of the examples in this series so just stay tuned with the series so today we'll just upload a blink example and let's see if everything is working perfectly or not so I think here is uh, the blink example uh, I don't think they have given the blink example no worry we'll go into the basics and we'll click on this blink we'll maximize this okay so if you don't know the where is the LED, okay, let me show. Here is the LED already built in on this uh, uh, ESP32 board. I don't know on which pin the LED is attached. So the simplest method is you just need to write LED underscore built in. This function will automatically redirect or automatically translate it into the pin uh, used by the LED. Different boards have different pins used for LED. But by writing this particular string or this particular LED underscore built in, the uh, system automatically translate it into the pin number for the particular board you have selected. So you don't need to worry about which pin the LED is attached to. So I'm ready with the code. I will just first compile it. And by that time it compiles, I will just attach uh, a USB cable to this. Okay, it's done compiling. So we'll go to tools, into the ports, and uh, okay it is not showing the port it is okay i haven't attached this hub my mistake the problem with the latest macbook pro is you need to have this uh, usb type c hub in your system uh, usb type c hub with you all the time if you want to use the usb ports uh, i think now the port should appear Okay, so here is the port, uh, side lab USB to UART port is already available. So I will just select this port and click on this upload button. Now here you will observe a new kind of error that I will let you know or rather I will show you right now only. So see, I've done, I just click on the upload button. I haven't done anything on the ESP32 board after connecting this uh, USB cable. I haven't pressed any button and let's see what kind of error, you know, uh, is shown by this Arduino IDE. And what's the solution of this error? That also I will let you know in this video only. So this is the benefit of, you know, a non-scripted videos that everything is going on real time. And uh, I can't, you know, I haven't any, I, mean, I haven't scripted this video. If, if I have scripted, I may, you know, lose this kind of uh, solution of this error. So here is the error, a fatal error occurred because of fail to connect with ESP32 or basically the error says timed out waiting for the packet header. So timeout error occurs if you don't follow this step, which I'm, uh, I will be telling you right now. So this is basically the error. Uh, if you have watched my uh, error series of ESP266 board, you must be familiar with this kind of error, the timeout error or 
that that mem failed error was also covered by me so basically what's the meaning of this error the esp32 board is not in the boot mode or not in the uploading mode the esp32 board is in the running mode that means esp32 board is right now running the code which is already uploaded in it it is not ready to accept a new code for that we need to transfer or we need to tell esp32 board to go into the boot mode or we can say yeah into the boot mode or we can say the flash mode and uh, how to tell esp32 to go into the flash mode it is simple you just need to connect the usb cable uh, simply uh, let me let me yeah so i just connected the esp32 to the, with the usb cable and uh, again i will click on this upload button now what uh, i will do is here are the two buttons e and enable and the boot button so as soon as it shows this connecting and dot 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 i will just simply press the press and hold this boot button okay as you can see uh, it started writing the code in it and i think the code is written but still the led is not blinking okay now i need to reset this okay so as you can see the led is blinking i don't know if you are able to see or not let me zoom it in okay so as you can see the led is now blinking perfectly so this is all you need to do as soon as the that uh, connecting dot 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 shows up you just need to press and hold this boot button which is uh, here uh, here so you just need to press and hold this button and after that the board will be transferred into the flash mode or we can say the boot mode and after that it will start accepting the code start accepting the incoming code let me zoom it out okay so this was a simple trick to transfer the esp32 board into the flash mode if you don't follow this method your board will never get programmed and this timeout error will always occur so what you need to do is just need, need to press and hold this boot button and after the codes get uploaded you just need to press this reset button to again uh, you know put back your esp32 into running mode okay so yeah this is it about this video i have covered all the topics i hope you got the idea of how to use this esp32 board using your arduino ide on your windows as well as the ios system I also shown the solution of two errors first is esp underscore upload underscore mem underscore fail and second is the timeout error so yeah this is it about the episode one of this uh, series i hope you find this video interesting and helpful subscribe my channel if you want to learn more tricks and more co example codes about the esp32 and also if you want to learn more projects on electronics iot and automation yeah this is it for this video Wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.